What a beautiful day in progress across the Sun Coast. A great start to the first weekend of fall coming across. But clouds are thickening, the moisture is building, and we'll some, have some afternoon and evening thunderstorms across the area. And they're kind of welcome. It's been dry for a spell, and we need that cooling influence of those storms in the afternoon. I don't think they're going to be that heavy to cause any additional flooding problems. 85, the temperature at the airport at noon with a dew point of 72. That's pretty humid. And the equinox, the Pretty much equal day and night, uh, the sun passing southward over the celestial equator occurs at 4.02. But it's not exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours night. There's about a seven minute difference as you can see here because the Earth doesn't orbit perfectly in a perfect circle around the sun and there are other astronomical vagaries that cause that little slight discrepancy. Well, we do have an advancing Atlantic sea breeze coming our way. You can see it down around the Miami-Fort Lauderdale area. And there's more developing up along the uh, Space Coast and the First Coast that will be approaching us during the afternoon and evening. And this is Hurricane Maria, still a Category 3 storm with a very impressive eye. Now, it's not that pinhole eye that we saw over Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and uh, back in Dominica, but it is a very distinctive eye. It will continue to weaken very slowly, but it's going to be around for about another week. I'm taking a look at the official track from the National Hurricane Center with 125 mile an hour winds. Maria is predicted to move well off the Atlantic coast. In fact, it's going to be about halfway between Bermuda and the United States, which means things are looking pretty darn good for us and, and maybe more high surf. But this is going to be a storm that mainly affects fish across the area and maybe ships at sea. And we're fairly confident in this forecast because the spaghetti plot of models pretty much uniformly, except for a couple of outliers you'll see in a second here, uh, uh, we're totally discounting this. It's going to remain well out to sea, perhaps brushing Maritime Canada in about a week's time. And here's our future cast showing those thunderstorms over the area, not only this afternoon, but again tomorrow afternoon, developing about 4 or 5 in the afternoon and then dissipating and maturing around 7 or 8 in the afternoon. So here's your marine forecast. Looks like a great day today and tomorrow on the open water. If you can dodge the thunderstorms, north wind 10 knots, seas 2 feet or less. Beach temperature this afternoon 88, the water temperature 84. Still, even at the equinox with 12 hours day, 12 hours night, the UV index is still 9. Make sure you don't forget the sunscreen, even needed here in the middle of winter, actually. So here's our forecast for the rest of today. it will be sunny and warm, except Increasing clouds in the afternoon with a 50% chance of thunderstorms developing. The high 90, pretty close to normal with those northeast winds. And here's your seven-day outlook. 50% not only today, the same on Saturday, pretty close on Sunday. And I think drier air will begin sinking over us Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on the periphery of Hurricane Maria, giving us a break from the uh, rain again and pretty nice temperatures. And that's our weather, Ray.